Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Girl I was caught and left the party with someone else, now won't leave me alone. This whole thing probably sounds really stupid, it'll try and explain to you how it went down. So this girl who I've been friends with, and flirting with for a while, and I went to an outdoor party a few weeks back. Now bear in mind nothing had happened between us yet, but the signals were there. Now I'm more a slow burn type guy, and I was enjoying the pursuit without going in too hot and heavy and when we went to the party, we were completely platonic. We decided to go to the party as friends, it was an outdoor party with a fire, we both knew a few other people there, and it was going great guns. Lots of flirting and she held my hand at the fire, so we were enjoying ourselves. Anyways later in the night she goes off talking to other people and so am I, and I see her talking to another dude. Now I'm a laid back guy and as I said we're not in a relationship or anything so I figure it's not my place to intervene, if she likes me then I shouldn't be worried. So I'm just sitting by myself, looking at my phone, and she comes up to me and says she's thinking about leaving for the night, and that dude's gonna take her home. Now of course I know right away that she wants to go home with the dude, I just stood up and said listen you do you, and she went away with the guy. My friend was laughing like duck at this when I told him but what was I supposed to say no? I don't own her and we were not in a relationship so she can do as she pleases, I'm not about to try and tie her to a tree or get down on one knee and proclaim my feelings for her, the way I saw it, you win some you lose some, no skin off my nose and went home myself. Didn't hear a thing from her for like two weeks before today when she started texting me asking how I'm doing. Coincidentally I heard through the grapevine yesterday that she went out with that dude a few times in the last few weeks but it fizzled out for whatever reason. Now I'm cordial in the texts back to her but make no mistake I've barely thought about her these last few weeks, I've cut my losses and moved on, no hard feelings. She starts going on about how she's lost her chance with me, how she made a mistake with that guy and if only I had signaled my intentions a bit more she would have went with me. I said a mistake is putting three spoonfuls of sugar in your coffee instead of two, that she made a conscious decision so just own it. I also said that yes, going somewhere with me and leaving with another guy pretty much obliterates any chance we have of getting together. She asks if she can make it up to me and I say no thanks, she won't stop texting me though. She even said I let her go and in her head she wishes she said I'd rather go with you. My friend says it's a case of if you snooze you lose but for me it's more I refuse to be anyone's second choice. I know, I may have been a bit slow on the uptake with her but that's the way I've always been, and it takes two to tango. If she had liked me as much as I had liked her she would have politely declined this guy and we would have continued on our path together. I know if another girl would have made a move on me I would have said thanks but no thanks, I'm here with someone. To me it's a case of she was happy with me till she saw someone she liked better, and the rest is history. He my friend, thinks I'm being too hard on her, even though we were together it was just as friends even though as I said she has been texting me today about how she wanted me so she knew the score as much as I did. As I said I have no hard feelings and she didn't do anything wrong per se, but as always in life actions have consequences, and the consequences I'm no longer interested in pursuing a relationship with her. Am I being too hard on her? What do you think? I must spit your words right back at you. You do you. Lol he rattled off so many idioms in this. Damn it, I'm always just several minutes too late to make the comments I want. I think you respect yourself and you need to keep that shit up. Yeah, it's very nice to see after the 500th post that goes my so cheated in front of me, for the fifth time. How should I tell them I don't like this without upsetting them? LMFAO. Yeah, a lot of these posts have the solution of, okay, your partner doesn't respect you and never will from the looks of your description of the scenario, so have some self-respect and ditch them. 
it's like they've never read the subreddit and have seen the nearly identical posts to theirs. This. My girlfriend cheated on me four times, as far as I know, stole money from me, doesn't respect me, yells at me, and emotionally torments me. But I love her, how do I make this work? Need to hear more of this, people liking themselves for who they are and not accepting being treated a bit shitty to keep the peace with friends and acquaintances. You know you, you don't want to be someone's backup and you respectfully decline. The more she pushes the more she is showing her colors, stay strong and move on as you are, don't be pushed to suit others. For sure. She might have been trying to make him jealous or chase her more which was a faulty call on her end. Trying to make someone jealous by disrespecting them, and leaving with someone else, is just about the dumbest thing I have ever heard of. In fact trying to play on someone's insecurities and hurt them to elicit a response is some sad toxic shit. Preach. It's the stupid toxic shit movies romanticize. Yeah I have a 100% don't encourage it mentality. She keeps giving me mixed signals. She says she doesn't like me but she keeps flirting? That was no son. Nah mate if that was the case she wouldn't be going out with the other dude for weeks she would just quit after the first night seeing the top isn't trying. I don't know about that, I understand he was enjoying the chase but goddamn people need to talk to each other more. Even just an I like you and I just like to take it slow and get to know you that way. Might have helped the situation a bit. Yeah fair enough about the leaving with another guy. Being strung along with flirting and no conversation doesn't help the situation either. Going to a party with someone, leaving with someone else. I mean. I'd say yes hard feelings. I wouldn't hate her for it but I went to this party with you and you're leaving with another guy. Yeah. That just wasn't very kind on her end. At least she was honest, she doesn't have to tell anyone what she's planning to do with this other guy, before leaving him. But you sleep in the bed you make, other people have feelings too. I can't say if she was trying to make him jealous or if she was being careless either way, don't do that. That's what I thought. Her loss. Hell yeah. This is the way. I didn't even know this level of self-respect was possible. Learn from it. Yes. Update, girl I was caught in left party with someone else, now won't leave me alone original post. Hi, when I posted this yesterday I fell asleep and when I woke up a few hours later, the post had been locked for reaching a comment limit, so I couldn't answer anyone back. Update. Well since the op I decided to cut contact with her but I had a question first that I felt she owed me to answer. I asked her what was the point of her coming up to me and telling me she was leaving with someone else? Was she trying to embarrass me? Trying to hurt me? Or was it a ploy to try and make me fight for her? She said she knew that I liked her, but wasn't sure if it was going to go somewhere, or that I cared enough, and when she hit it off with the other dude, that I wouldn't be bothered if he was to take her home. She said it was a win-win, either I professed my feelings for her and we could go from there or she could see what happened with him. She said she regretted it with him almost from the get-go, as they didn't have much in common or seem compatible. Also that she wanted to get in touch but felt embarrassed. I thanked her for her apparent honesty then blocked her. I'm even more positive now than in my op that she was happy and content with progressing things with me, until she saw something she thought was better and easier, when I became about as useful as yesterday's garbage. If she had bothered about me at all then she would have at least thought about how I felt not just then, but in the future. She didn't, and now it's come back to bite her. She made her own bed with the way she handled things, fair enough she's single and can ultimately do what she wants, but people remember how you treat them, well some do. I was thinking about myself, the morals I can take and how I can improve in the future, so possibly being more forthright is one of them? I do like to take things slowly and it's served me well in the past with picking out good partners, but I don't see the problem with maybe just biting the bullet and being clear about my feelings, nothing wrong with everybody knowing where everybody stands. Thanks. She said it was a win-win. 
The results determined that was false. It was a lose-lose. Impressive. Girl, the risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at maths. Girl, at the party, I'm doing a thousands calculations per minute, and they're all wrong. It was a win for Op, who got to learn this about her before getting in a real relationship. This is exactly why dating can be so important to someone's confidence. You see a lot of people jump head first into a relationship before even getting to know what they want slash who they are exclusive with. I think your dating approach is going to lead to a few more situations like this, but by no means is that a bad thing. You're going to learn a lot about what you like in other people and what are deal breakers. That's not something a lot of people learn until they're knee deep in a failing marriage. Keep doing you dude. Have fun with dating, it's not supposed to be a job early on. The right people are out there. Mho, this can't be more on the button. Coming from someone knee deep in a failing marriage. Sorry to hear that, hope it turns out well for you. I agree with this completely, and add to it. As someone who's pretty much always jumped head first into a relationship with the first person who I share mutual interest in, I decided this last time I started dating again to not do that. I met up with several different people, and actively dated the two that I liked the most, i.e. hanging out with them multiple times over the course of a few weeks, and then I was able to make an informed decision on who I would be most compatible with long term. The person I ended up choosing was a great fit for me, and was not upset when I told him I was seeing multiple people, and said that it made the most sense. Interestingly enough the one I didn't choose was the one who was against exclusivity and labeling things, but was upset when I told him I was hanging out with someone else, which further clarified things to me that he wasn't sure what he actually wanted long term. In the future if I have to date again, which I don't think I will, this method was far more successful than jumping head first into the first potentially good thing to come my way. More people need to date like this, rather than dating on looks and personality, dating on character first is important, cause you can somewhat fake a personality. Or, I needed to read this. Thank you. She said it was a win-win. Velp. She lost lost. You made the right call. She treated you like just another option, and that doesn't make for a healthy long-term relationship. If you get together, she'll still be on the lookout for better options. Op can learn from this though. The girl only had hints he was interested. While her about to leave with the guy wasn't the time to profess feelings, perhaps this whole thing could have been avoided with a bit more communication. She did seem to like Op and seems to hope this would prompt action. When it didn't she assumed he didn't really cared and went with it. It's like a rom-com without anyone leaving happy. Just some well, that sucks feelings and experiences to process and grow from. On both sides. The girl only had hints he was interested. I mean, she held his hand. Up played it right. Had a few moments of clear and precise flirting and physical contact, but wasn't clingy and gave her space at the party. I do believe we are missing a key element, how long was this going on? If I've been holding hands with a guy for two months and it hasn't progressed, I would think it won't. It seems like they both messed this up for each other, no communication is where relationships die. How she played this was absolutely wrong and you dodged a bullet, but I agree with spinach. Op might be able to learn something from this situation to improve his dating style. Op said when they went to the party they were completely platonic but had been flirting beforehand, that's not really platonic. We need more details on how long this had been going on, etc. If I've been dating someone for two months and we've only held hands I'd be wondering where we stand too. If you're interested in seeing where something might go romantically I'd at least articulate that to the other person once you realize you like them. He's clearly not that into her. He should have fought for something that is completely irrational? I see. Great logic. Dude this is what I hate about girls if you're holding hands tell him you like him at this point I'm pretty sure you have kissed stop it and tell him. Yes she needed to communicate better as well as op. That's my point. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. 
Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.